Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 2C of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 62 and the question I'm going to do is 21. So this reads, it's from the Leaving Cert 1981 by the way, but it reads that the body starts at P, travels in a straight line and then comes to rest at Q, which is 0.696 of a kilometer or 696 meters from P. The time taken is 66 seconds. The first 10 seconds it is uniform acceleration A1 then travels at constant speed and is finally brought to rest by uniform deceleration A2 acting for 6 seconds. Calculate the accelerations. So there is my speed time diagram as normal. I've marked in the positions 10 seconds, total time is 66. We know from here to here is 6. There from here to here is 50 seconds. Like that, and that point is 60. We're given a maximum speed of V and accelerations A1 and A2 like that. Now, I'm not going to use UVAST like I usually do. In this case, I'm going to use TAN. Just a quick reminder, I made two angles there. We know that TAN is equal to the slope, is equal to the rate of change. And in this case, we're looking at the rate of change of speed with respect to time. And what's that? Your acceleration. One second, I'm after dropping my calculator. So let's get tan alpha and let's get tan beta. So tan alpha is the opposite over the adjacent is equal to v over 10 is equal to a1. Therefore, v is equal to 10 a1 and tan beta is equal to the opposite over adjacent is equal to v over 6 in this case, now remember it's just the length, so it's not negative 6, it's just 6 is equal to a2 sorry, it's not, it's, uh, it's equal to plus a2, not negative a2 so therefore v is equal to 6a2 like that there are first pieces of information next we're going to get the area, because we, don't, we know what the total area is, it's 696 so that is the it's, it is the uh, sorry the area is the distance so we're going to add up one plus two plus three so six nine six is equal to triangle plus rectangle plus triangle six nine six is equal to half ten which is the base times a one plus the base which is fifty times um, not a one excuse me v fifty times v plus a half, 6 times v. So that's 5v plus 50v plus 3v. And that turns out to be, what's that, 58v. And that's equal to 696. Therefore, v is equal to 696 divided by 58, which is equal to 12 meters per second, like that. Alright, and because we have V, we're able to get our accelerations. So now that V is equal to 12, therefore A is equal to 12 divided by 10. A1 is equal to 12 over 10, 1.2 meters per second squared. And A2 is equal to 12 divided by 6, which is 2 meters per second squared. Like that. Both of those are correct. So that was reasonably straightforward. And that's part A complete. Now in part B, we're asked to do the exact same thing. However, in this case, it's uniform acceleration followed immediately by uniform deceleration. So let's quickly draw our speed time diagram, which we're well used to. And uh, the speed time diagram for this case is the triangle, which we've seen before. Region 1. 2, the other way around, sorry, that's 1, that's 2, alpha, beta, a2, a1, t1, t2. I'm sure you're able to follow that at this stage because we've done a hell of a lot of questions similar to this. So let's go again. Tan alpha is equal to the opposite, which is v over the adjacent, which is t1, is equal to a1. 
Now we know what A1 is equal to, it's equal to 1.2, so V is equal to 1.2 times T1. That's the first thing. And we know that tan beta is equal to the opposite over adjacent, so that's V over T2 is equal to 2. It's actually equal to minus 2, we'll say. So what we'll say is that uh, V is equal to minus 2 times T2. Is it equal to 2? No, it's not equal to minus 2 because we're talking about lengths. So we can leave that there at uh, positive 2 meters. It's, it's a length of 2 of 2. So we have two expressions for V, for V and we have an expression for T1 and T2. So as, as a result, we can say it's 1.2 T1 is equal to 2 times T2, like that. Or you could say that T1 is equal to 2 over 1.2 T2. And that's equal to, let's see if we can get a fraction on that, 2 divided by 5, that's equal to 5 over 3, T2. Alright, that's pretty good so far. Now, you want to be able to get the area of this. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to rub out all of that. I'm going to note that T1 is equal to 5 over 3, T2. Now, what's the area of this? The area is equal to the distance, of course. So we have 696 is equal to a half t1 times v plus a half t2 times v. So we know that t1 is equal to 5 over 3 times t2. Times a half, so that'll actually be 6. Is that correct? Yeah, plus a half t2 times v like that, and that's equal to 696. So we'll add 5 over 6 plus a half, and we're going to get 4 over 3. So 4 over 3 t2 times v is equal to 696, like that. Now I'm just wondering, just, just bear with me, I actually have notes in this question, so I'm going to try and use those. We should have another... Now we need to get rid of T2 and we need to get rid of V. How do we get rid of V? I should probably have worked out what the velocity was. So, do we have an expression? We had that. One sec, just let me think now for a moment that A1 was equal to the opposite over the adjacent V over T1. Like that. Alright. What that means is that we we actually know what the we know what V is because it's equal to uh, A1 over T1, but V is also equal to V sorry, A2 is also equal to V over T2. So we're able to get we're able to sub in for here. So what I'll do is I'll say that 696 is equal to 4 over 3 times T2 times V. And V is A2 over T2 like that. Alright, so you have 696 is equal to 4 over 3 times T2 times A2 which was 2 over T2. No, that's incorrect. Oh, A2 times T2. Like that. So we're going to get 8 over 3. T2 squared is equal to 696. Therefore, 3 times 696 divided by 8 is equal to 261. Therefore, T2 is equal to root 261 is equal to 3 root 29 meters. And I'll tell you that's correct. Alright, so we have an expression for T2. Um, now, how do we relate T2 and T1 again? We said that T1 was equal to 5 over 3 times T2. So as a result, T1 is equal to 3 root 29 multiplied by 5 
divided by 3 is equal to 5 root 29. So the total time is 3 root 29 plus 5 root 29 and is equal to 8 root 29. And that's exactly what we have in the back of the book. And that's what we're asked to find. So that's that question done. To be honest, I, I'm not really a fan of that. There's a bit of just manipulation formulae, putting them here, putting them there. I don't know if I explained it correctly. If I didn't, please just, just tell me and I'll do the video again. Um, so look, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and pass it on to your friends.